will the structured data, social data singularity occur? <laughs> you mean when, the, when Twitter gets so smart that you don't have to tweet anymore? Maybe that's what he means. It's definitely a Nova question. It's, oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't really believe the singularity is going to happen, so it's, it's, it's a tough one for me. I, I, but I think that um, we are seeing a um, continued exponential increase in the volume, social volume, every year. Um, and as more and more um, applications start... Um, sending messages into the social stream as well. You know, you're now on the northwest corner, you just crossed the street, now you're on the southeast corner, whatever. Um, you know, the, it's going to be more than a tenfold increase beyond what we have today in the next five years. So I, I think we're going to have a, a problem with social data, which is that right now it's, it's just at the point where it's becoming difficult to actually consume Twitter as a consumer. There's mm -hmm. so much noise. I, personally, I, I've, I've noticed a change in my own behavior. I, I'm wondering if other people are also sort of consuming it less. I think there's more of a fire and forget behavior where you say what you're doing, you post it out thinking somebody might see that, um, but probably only the NSA sees that at this point. So that's, that's continuing. And if that happens, what it means is that sites which are eyeballs-based, like Twitter, um, are going to be losing eyeballs, uh, and they're going to have to find ways to get those eyeballs through retargeting outside of their sites. Uh, so there's going to be a shift in the way that social data is consumed. So I'm going to add to that and say, you know, we, we talk about social data super generically here. There's actually about 100 different cuts of social data, right. and which is why like, preparing for you know, this and thinking about what, what I wanted to talk about, it was really difficult for me. So, I mean, Nova mentioned geo. Um, geo is social. Anything that is, that is uh, helping us as human beings understand or share uh, is, is social inherently. Um, the answer is that there's never going to be a perfect coming together of BI and social data. Um, maybe on the analytics side, but not on the actual external human side. Um, there will always be social, and it will always have unique value, uh, and has to be understood differently. Uh, that's how I feel about that. Nice. And uh, I have to say, um, on your Twitter point, we have April from Twitter coming up later on to give a great presentation. I'm sure she will respond to the comments you're making. Well, yes. I think, I think you know, in Twitter, what, one of the things that they're doing that's phenomenal is investing in their distributed ecosystem, right? And, 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 and really working heavily on how to make Twitter content viable and meaningful uh, externally from you know, Twitter.com or even from Twitter's mobile apps. Uh, and, and that's something that we, we, we see them very actively doing over the last couple of years that's pretty exciting that will help solve Thank that you. problem. Thank you. Yon. I think I interpret the question really as when unstructured data is going to be more important than structured data. Uh, and I think that's an interesting question in itself because I agree with that premise. Unstructured data is going to be much more valuable than structured data that we currently use. The, current, the structured data is past, it's historic data, it's lag data. Unstructured data is typically real time. Uh, I think it's very, very early days. I think we're talking many, many years before we reach that singularity, if you like. All right.